So, um, you know, I'm just here right now. Um, what's up, everybody? I'm here right now trying to get to a certain time limit. So I might have well made a video. So I wanted to, to, to expose that the bully pill is, is, is up in front. So people wanted me to tell... People wanted me. Uh, people asked me, um, "Is it really that bad in society where, in every section in society, they gotta put you down because they think that uh, they think that they can talk down to a group of men?" I told you in a couple of my videos, other videos that um, this society has created. This society hasn't created a bunch of men who, uh, who has, uh, there's certain men that don't have fan clubs. Now, this one dude who looks like he has a do-rag on and a bunch of fucking tattoos, but he wants to say that he's a nerd. So, I find it funny that a lot of these dudes come into the gaming space, the anime space, and they say, oh, I get women, Right? But they look like the prototypical, they look like the prototypical dude who gets women, but like anime. I hate when people turn around and say, well, I like anime and I get women. But, but they're, you don't look like the typical guy. And these women that come in with their so-called anime, they're only going into anime because they done, they, they were... They were washed out being whores in their real life, and now they're anime. They like anime and video games. They still the same chick, but one of the things is they like who they like. A lot of these women, there's only about 2% of them that will date a certain type of guy. And is it bad to tell ask a girl if she does like anime and give her some questions instead of being with somebody who's lying. I would not want to be around a person who said they like something just to say they like it. So they can get in on another person or, or get into another lifestyle. But they got some whole different lifestyle that's fucking them up. So the bully pill is a bunch of guys intentionally making videos about people who they think is under them. Then pretending like it's self-improvement to make people better. The goal of Bully Pill is to give egos to a bunch of people who can't face each other because if they face each other, if they face someone who is equally better than them, it was it, it would uh or it seems to have more than them, they will lose their ego and spot in society that they built, right? So I'm gonna show you a guy. Cause you know, I I, I do my little searching sometimes. And I'm going to break down this, this fake gamer guy who wanted to sit back and talk about how black girls don't like black nerds. And the funny thing about this is this dude has a sleeve of tattoos. He's a gym, a gym rat. And he looks like this prototypical black dude that black girls like. But he, some, he, he somehow think he excused because he only likes small bit of anime. But he still gets women because he doesn't understand that the media already put him. I already broke this down in my in my video. The media can make women like black nerds and can make women in general like nerds. But they won't do it because it's not in their. It's not in their position to to to, to make nerds happy. Nerds have to waste their money on women that don't like them. Or put them in a category of women that they shouldn't be with. And then get cheated on and then, you know, end up taking their own lives or whatever. It, it's bad, you know, uh, but um, let's hear somebody who is the, is, the, is, is the bully pill. Now, let's hear. Fuck with them. Oh, can you rate my dick for $6.73? That's tax. Getting their dick rated by a dude. Post stuff like this. I, I, I want you to get a feel for the... We got going on here. 
Look at bro. I want you to put the word out there. That we back up. Now, this dude, the Quan with Sean Gaming. Most of his most of his videos are talking shit about men. Most of his shit is talking shit about men. Now, I wanted to, I want to kind of expose this shit in the gaming space. And I told you this in like like almost top 5 6 years ago, right? There are just people who can't go out in the street and do what they do anymore, right? They can't gang bang, they can't do that. It's like a boxer who 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 are low, who's a low level boxer who can't fight pro, but they go around uh bullying people in the street because they got more skills than the average person. Now, a guy like this won't go up to porn stars and talk shit about them. They won't go down to them cartel guys. They won't go down to those those uh uh Arab dudes and call them corny and lame. This is why I always made a point of Roger Nellen Coffin. <laughs> Roger Nellen Coffin, my bad. <laughs> I love that, man. Oh, I love it. Man, my man Roger Allen Coffin, man. Um, I made it a deal of saying that, dude, after you die, nobody going to give a fuck about you. But they'll still be talking about Elliot Rogers. And what happened? How many people out here right now talking about Roger Nellen Curry? No, seriously. How many people are out here talking about Roger and Alan Curry? They still talking about Kevin Samuels. But they're not talking about Roger and Alan Curry. He dust in the ground. Dead. Fedito. Gone. I'm talking about him because I'm spitting on him. Metaphorically spitting on him. And everything else, right? So the Roger and Alan Curry was a bully pill. All he did was make fun of men. And try to take advantage of men to buy his fucking books. It didn't work. Now, this guy right here is all he does is search out guys to make fun of them. I mean, do I have to? I, I, I go, I, I give you, I bet you I'll find 10 videos of him talking shit about men. 10. Let's go. However, I decided to dig a little deeper and take a trip to this person's Twitter bio. Now, I'm, I'm showing you their bio because I want you to get a feel for the type of people who post stuff like this. Now, the guy in the video that this dude's talking about is pretty much somebody who says basically what I say. Because I've been doing this shit for a long time. Back then, when YouTube first started, there was a lot of fake-ass gamers. I mean, a fake-ass gamers and a fake-ass... Fake ass gamers are fake ass people who like anime, right? People gatekeep the anime community back in the day. And there was a big thing about it, right? I remember back in the day with G4 TV when everybody said Olivia Nunn, you know, from uh Attack of the Show, she was using the gaming. She was using she was using gaming to get to Hollywood. And everybody, including myself, was absolutely right about her. And she basically, she didn't get to A-list. She got to a couple B-level movies and married the, per, the, the, the first person that she could probably marry. And she, didn't, she, she never got to A-list. I want you to get a feel. Yeah, if that isn't fucking obvious. That ain't fucking obvious, bro. Why wouldn't you say I love black nerds? Bruh, just like when I told y'all, when it comes down to big girls, bruh, they flock to these types of posts. You say you love... So, he's gonna sit back and, um, try to confirm that, that, that a bunch of overweight black girls now are trying to act like they like anime to get black nerds. Because black nerds got more money than the, than, than, than the street dudes because the street dudes have to impress them. So what they wanted to do, and we already talked about this like a couple years ago. What these women going to try to do is they're going to try to dig in the pockets of the nerds because the nerds got more disposable income than the niggas who dressed up in Jordans and shit and waste their money on other shit. They got more money to themselves and they want to dig into the pockets of the nerds and give them like small bit of sex and then they want to turn around. But these women can't compete 
in the open market because they're not attractive enough to compete. So these overweight women will turn around and try to take advantage of nerves. One chick tried to take advantage of me back then in what? Uh, uh, 2020, 20, 17, 2017, the chick tried to take advantage of me overweight chick. And I saw right through her and she, uh, overweight chick try her best to try to tell me that she been with guys like me who didn't dress up nice and this and this and that her relationship lasted that long and blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, you, uh, you kind of think I'm stupid. <laughs> big girls, big girls flock. Cause they want some love. Black nerds flock to these shits. Cause they want some love. Find out she got only fans. What they doing? They going straight over there. Niggas going straight over there and, 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 and signing up. They, they, they immediately are fucking subscribing. For the type of people who oh she loves me and then and then and then you know what they gonna do they gonna they gonna fucking they gonna they gonna fucking subscribe to our OnlyFans and then they gonna think they talking to her and think that she actually fuck with them. Oh, can you rate my dick? For I already busted this myth about they they talking about incels and, and nerds and stuff going to OnlyFans and all nigga it's the uh, it's the it's the dudes who got who who who's married. And got girlfriends who go on to OnlyFans more. They doing it behind their wife's back because they don't, they're not really attracted to their wives and girlfriend. A lot of dudes are sick and tired of dealing with mediocre women, but they can't get out of it because they listen to what society tell them to do. Like guys like this. Six dollars and seventy. This is why you will see a a guy who has a bodybuilder physique with an overweight woman. Three cent? That's the tax? Getting a dick rated by a dude. Post stuff like this. I, I I want you to get a feel for the type of people, y'all. I want Yo, to get out to see what kind of game she streams. And I came across this. I just got to put it in here because this shit is humorous. We good? Hello? Nigga. What do they want me to do? I'm not understanding. <laughs> What do these idiots want me to do? Oh, other way. <laughs> now, this is one of this is the shit that a lot of us are talking about, right? I said this before about gaming. Gaming has a DNA. You have to know, you have to bend in that genre in order to know what the expect of this game. I can pick up almost any game and play it. Because I, I already have the experience of playing those games when I was younger. The fake girl gamers, they don't know shit about the directors, the art direction. They don't know the stuff about the developers, the designers. They don't know anything about anybody, anything about nothing. They will sit there and say all this other shit. I remember the friend that I... That I Showed everybody to the guy that I posted, right? Me and him would talk about pro wrestling. We talked about pro wrestling for like six hours. The moves, the storylines, and everything else like that, right? But that was my best friend, right? Never did I have any long, drawn-out conversations with any woman who said they like a certain thing. Because when you like something, you get lost in the conversation about what you like and what you, you care about. But if somebody get weirded out because I asked them a fucking question about something they say they like and they can't give me a specific answer, why the fuck am I wasting my time with a person? I'm not trying to teach you something. You're supposed to be already be here at a certain level before you met me. I'm not supposed to be you're not supposed to be gaining sh more shit from me. I'm so stupid. You get the picture. You picking up. I ain't gonna hold you, bro. Like, nigga, dog. There are plenty of entertaining Women, like on, you know, what I'm saying to the streamers, but I ain't gonna hold you, bro. Like it's like I get on they stream sometimes when they playing the game, and I'm like, yo, I see why niggas are here, cause like they be they be like mad boring sometimes. But and even he admit that they're boring, but then he's gonna go around talking shit about black nerds and say a black nerd ain't supposed to ask a so-called black woman nerd about the context of what she says she likes. 
Cause you don't want to waste. If she a lie about this is the thing. If she a lie about her being a, a a person who likes anime, what else do you think she's lying about? You you got women out here who have like six or seven kids, but they are they so called black nerds, right? Then for some reason, you get involved with them, or you talk to one of them. And then you gotta figure out you you somebody got somebody gotta tell you yo this chick got seven fucking kids what are, what are you doing oh I didn't know oh go to social media this is why I laugh at the whole t- these whole dumb niggas talking about oh yeah man go outside and meet women face to face you know how much shit that these motherfuckers are hot from you and then you have to go you have to sit there and spend all this money just to find out that you talk to a person who got all these kids and shit like that. You don't want to find out all this bullshit later on. Why you still, why you in a relationship. A lot of these motherfuckers are pulling trap cards. That's a, that's a Yu-Gi-Oh reference. A trap card. To trap you in relationships. They be having their titties on. I ain't gonna hold y'all niggas the other day when we were streaming. I don't know if y'all niggas remember when I was like, hey. And then I just showed. Now, and this is what I'm, this is one of the things that I'm telling y'all about, right? Guys like this. A lot of these dudes have burned their bridges in their their other lifestyles. They have burned their bridges in other lifestyles to the point where um, now they got to go into places where they think they better than the the people that they talk about. I already made it. I already made it a, a case about how there can't be a hundred million. There can't be a hundred million gym dudes. There can't be a fifty million gym guys. There can't even be two or three, four million gym dudes. Because we don't have, we don't even have the right infrastructures to have gyms. We don't have 50 gyms. We don't even have at least 100 gyms in one city. We don't. For for everybody in every fucking country, in every city to go work out and, 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 uh, and self-improve. We don't have that. So the funny part about this is that the society was supposed to find... Some people to match up with each other. But instead now, as I said before, we live in a no leave no woman behind society where the women are now bolstered up. But then they're trying to tell the men that they have to get into a certain type of category in order to get women. For a second, it was some girl rolling her titties up on Twitch. I went to Twitch because I was going to see if we was going to raid somebody. On my home page, it was some girl. Just she, she had oil all over her titties, and she was playing a video game. And I was like, yep, that's why niggas are watching. She had 1.1 thousand viewers. Just oil on her titties. Up and up and down. Let me show you one more example. And I don't have to travel far because it is a top reply at the bottom. Look, look, look. I love it. I love to see it. I love to see it. Nah, nah, nah. Jazz, do. Nah, I can't even hold you. She really does. She really does. She does too. I'm not gonna lie, bro. She wanna fuck. You know what I'm saying? She, she, uh, yeah, she does too. But at the end of the day, not reply. Shameless plug. Follow me on Twitch. But at the bottom of the original, she does though. She really does. Yo, Jazz, dog. She was at DreamCon and everything. I know her, nigga. She really does fuck with nerdy niggas. She, she really does a fuck with nerdy niggas. But he, he pretends like he's a nerdy guy. Right. How you gonna say nerdy niggas, but then you say I like nerd shit, but you know, you gotta like things by, by, beside nerdy stuff because you know, you have to waste. I told you about this shit. I told you about how many industries based off the fact bake bit based off the fact that they milking guys' money to try to get them to introduce them to women. Most dudes ain't gonna do shit because they they think it's fun. They're gonna do it because they wanna get to get next to a female. Loves like niggas who are all in the anime. Well, she's not playing. She got the OnlyFans too, but she really does. Both of them do. On some. So you have OnlyFans, but you like nerdy guys. The fuck out of here. <laughs> oh shit, bro. I'm not gonna hold you. You're distracted. I don't think for that prime sub, bro. But yeah, she definitely. Nah, she really does. If y'all know Jazz, she really do though, bro. She really do fuck with like nerdy niggas.
So it becomes more of a factor is that this is what we're going to live into today's society. A bunch of guys who burnt their bridges in real life. And they're coming online to talk shit about men they think that they can talk shit about. But I said this before, right? If it was consequences to this dude talking shit about men and a thousand men showed up at his house and say, hey, let's fight. And you're going to have to, the, if the law came out and say, hey, dude, you talking about nerds? You're going to have to fight these thousand men with no rest period, nothing. A whole bunch of rounds, a thousand men. A lot of these dudes, wouldn't be, they wouldn't feel comfortable talking down to a bunch of men they think they better than. But for some reason, it was it's fun to talk about um it's fun to talk about men who you can keep talking about because they're not protected by anybody. Like I said before, I, I just want you to get a feel for the kind of people does, though. Now, the problem that I have with this tweet isn't that it's a couple of OnlyFans girls trying to boost their subscribers. Hoes gotta eat too. Nah, she really does, though. The problem that I have with this tweet is that it's... Nigga, on- you, nigga, you can go up to Jazz and start talking about anime. Now, see, this nigga Julio won't say they quad call feelings. I'm not even do. I, I don't even do that shit, nigga. I know. Uh, go up to her and, uh, and just say that, that, that she, you know, she like, you, you like, you, you like anime. That what? And this tells me that this dude probably has sex with her. Ain't no way you gonna sit back and try to. Remember what I said in my old videos? I says, don't never listen to dudes who never, never let other dudes uh, promote girls to you because nine times out of ten, they already had sex with them or they know these particular women. Bro, bro, what the fuck is you talking about, bro? I know her, nigga. Nigga, go up to her and talk about anime. Deadass, bro. She, nigga, she's one of those types that are conversed to by anime, you know what I'm saying, forever. Like, bro, some of these girls really be liking anime. I mean, like, nerdy niggas, and she's one of them, for real. And the funny thing about this is that a lot of these dudes said this shit over the past couple of years. And when I listen to these guys, I don't do it no more. That was back in 2000 and, 2008, 9, 10, 11, whatever. Um, I would actually be like, because that's when my, that's when... Well, that's when I wasn't really, I'm, I'm, I'm beyond 5,000 episodes of animes that I watch. I mean, 5,000 episodes of anime that I watch, right? And people say that, and I said, I don't got to lie. And all I got to do is bring my book out, and I have a laundry list of fucking anime that I watched that I ended. And they're like, oh, you got that? Said, what, what's the use of not having this right here? Just like I have gym logs. <laughs> I'm like, what's the use of not me recording the shit in my life? Some of the shit that I have in life. So I can show you that I really did do this shit in real life. I really do this. I really love what I like. I ain't met the, the Dej girl, but I have seen her constantly talk about anime, bro. She does that shit all the time. And if you go to her page, she don't just sit there and just say it. Oh, I like nerd niggas. Go to her page. She will literally tweet about anime and respond to everybody talking about it. Like she'd really be doing that. That don't mean they. That don't mean she liked anime and she liked nerdy dudes. It, it, you have to see her with the type of guy, in order for her to like nerdy dudes. It's like, I can show you. I can go right now and show. <laughs> um, let's see, man. Who the fuck? Who? What nerdy guy out here? Shit, man. I'm so out of the loop over that side of YouTube. Um, okay. Because if you've grown up as a nerdy black dude, as I have, you would know that black women would not touch you with a 10-foot pole. But I'll talk about that later. Back to this. 
yeah, see, this would just be certain type of nerdy niggas. It's because y'all niggas be dirty and stinking and shit. I'm trying to tell Okay, now we got the misconception about nerds are dirty and stinking, right? Shut the fuck up, dude. Right? This is why I said guys like this need to be fucking put on top of a fucking hill and smack the shit out of with, with boards. The, a line like this, right? It's a known factor that it's a lot of good men out there who don't stink, who don't have this and this and that, but these women would not be attracted to these guys. Be real. There's, there's women out here right now who are throwing so-called bus drivers under the bus. Trades, tradesmen. Guys who are skilled tradesmen, and just because they don't got a certain education, they uh, <laughs> they, they they make fun of them, right? So now he wants to go, and then this is what I told you about. Now he wants to go and say they they now he want to sit back and try to shit on these guys. This is what the bully pill is all about: to shit on people and not try to. Not try to sit back and say, hey, 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 he's right, right? They want to do it by the perspective of, they want to do it the perspective of what they think they know, not what actually is out there. People out here actually know it. The black nerd culture is still as toxic as anything else. You got the black girls who don't try hard enough to impress the black dudes, and then they get mad when they see a bunch of black nerds with a bunch of white girls and Asian girls. But then the black nerds are end up with a guy like this with a bunch of tattoos, sleeve tattoos and shit. Y'all niggas be looking really weird. That's why. Like y'all really got to cut that shit out with this. So everybody got to everybody got to dress the same way. Everybody got to look a certain way. That that defeat the purpose of being a fucking nerd then. Dumb fuck. Did, 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 didn't you know that a bunch of nuclear physicist scientists back in WW2, most of them didn't dress that nice. These are the people who created the, this, these are the people who created certain fucking weapons of mass destruction. A lot of these dudes didn't look the par when, when it comes down to it. But hey, you know, the scientists who create stuff and make stuff for your stupid dickheaded ass, they all supposed to look like supermodels, right? Like my nigga, all y'all niggas be calling me a nerd because I watch anime. Y'all have seen me get on streams with Mikotsky. You're not a nerd. You're a dude who like nerd culture. You're not an actual nerd. You got fucking tattoo sleeves and you got a fucking do-rag on and you look like a jail dude. If I took you out of that chair and put you in a fucking hood, you will fit right the fuck in. That's the difference between certain nerds and other nerds. There's guys out here who, let me find that dude. I, I found him. Fucking cloak and shit like that with a one piece get up, dressed up as Goku, Saiyan armor. He's talking to, see, and, and this is the one thing about this, right? And, and how dishonest these fuck boys are. You're doing shit that's popular. You're not, you're not dressing up like somebody from Codex. You're not dressing up from somebody that nobody knows. You're going after, you're doing things that is popular media. This is what we're talking about. You're doing shit that's popular. You just said One Piece, fucking Dragon Ball Z, and fucking Naruto. But people who love anime, we watch more than the popular shit. We watch things that are under that shit. Dina, all types of shit. Bitches still fuck with me. Black girls love me, nigga. They like you because you got tattoo sleeves, you dumb fuck, and you look and you got muscles, you stupid fuck. How about this one, dick? How about this one, dickhead? dickhead? I throw acid in your fucking face, chop both of your fucking arms off, chop your legs off, and I put you in a wheelchair and see if you can still get women then. If they still love you, right? 
I don't know what niggas be talking about. Y'all niggas gotta stop with this whole shit because y'all niggas be looking weird as hell and be on some. Oh, do you really like the anime? When's the first time Goku died? Is it is it bad to go ask questions like that? If you're gonna waste your fucking time, so wait, 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 wait. As a grown up, you're supposed to waste your time with people who lie to your fucking face. You stupid fuck. So I'm supposed to waste time with a person with, with, when we're grown. Remember, as a grown up. Time means money. So why would I waste time with a person who's lying to my fucking face when as a grown up, when people grow up, even at 18, they're supposed to have more. How can I say you supposed to want more out of certain things, right? You want to go out. You want to have fun every single time you go out. You, you have interactions. You want to be able to say, hey, I had fun from this interactions. So, so, let me, uh, let me capture, let me capture all this up. So, as I said, how the fuck am I supposed to be sitting here? I don't, you don't want to be with somebody who can't really keep, you don't want to be around somebody who's lying, who can't keep up with your nerd self, because then you're being used. Nine times out of ten, like I said before, back in the day when I ran certain groups and shit like that, a lot of these women will come into the groups having no nerd knowledge and then turn around and act like they can come in the, come into the, uh, <laughs> come into the space and then bite off of everybody. Fuck up, y'all niggas be weird as hell. So it's weird to like anime now, but you supposed to like anime. See, this is why I say guys like this need they need they fucking ass beat. Seriously. Because if there was laws and guys like this was talk all this shit, like I said, a thousand motherfucking men. You wanna talk shit? Let's fight a thousand men. Th fight a thousand men, nigga. Fight a thousand men. And, and I said this in comment sections, I said, hey man. You want to talk shit about incels and talk about this? I said, how about this one? How many was a law that every dude that you talk to, everybody's now, everybody is now going to be occupied with a thousand people. You want to talk shit? You want to see, you want to call yourself Superman? You want to act like you want to talk shit big bad online? Guess what? It's time. Or have a guy like this in the arena who the dudes that he talk about. And then if he gets, if he lose, he ain't going to be able to stream no more. This is why I'm happy a lot of these streamer dudes are losing money. Because, oh yeah, my bad. A lot of these guys are losing money. A lot of these guys are... A lot of them are literally... They're, a lot of these streamers, they're not losing a lot of money. But a lot of these people are getting targeted. You know, Aiden Ross got kicked off. The Kai dude. You know, some of the stuff that happened with him and all that. A lot of these big streamers, a lot of people are going after them. For many different reasons behind the scenes. But that's the reason why you don't get no bitches. That's the reason why, bro. But of course he's So you got to do what they want you to do in order to get bitches and wear tattoo sleeves and shit. Remember, we already know. We expert in this shit, right? Because they going to fuck with y'all niggas when y'all doing weird ass shit like that. That's exactly what niggas be doing. So it's weird to ask somebody about anime if they like anime. All they have to do is say they don't know the shit. And they didn't. They don't like anime. I mean, it's no. It's no shit to be disrespectful. Somebody come up to me and talking about, yeah, I like video games. I love video games all the time. I'm like looking at them like, okay, what game do you play? What game are you playing right now? How many games do you own? And if this for, for a female, how many games do you own? 
And how many games you playing right now? My phone right now got a whole bunch of games that I'm playing right now. Some of them I didn't play in two months, three months, four months. They in my backlog. Some games that I play once in a while, whatever. But that's one of the best things about having a, 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 a certain a log, a diary log, or should I, should I say a life log. You log in the stuff that you do every day. I got now I'm starting for this year. I'm going back up to and doing the shit that I did before. I'm starting to take pictures of my receipts. So I don't have to. So I can know exactly what I want to buy and then bounce. And then I'm trying to see just how many of these prices going up and down. But so being being prepared and wait. So it's weird that people do background checks on jobs. Is it, it that's weird, right? So you're going to call somebody a weirdo if they want to know what kind of person's in their life. So they don't waste their time. Yeah, come on now. Oh, you really like anime? You know, well, what did, uh, what did Guts do with, 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 in the fucking last fucking chapter of manga Berserk? What is the Hunter Hunter come back? It's definitely okay. certain types of nerdy niggas. Facts, I like superheroes and anime since I was kid and it has never stopped a girl from liking me. And this is what I'm, this is what I, I actually, <laughs> this is what the things that I always laugh at with these guys, right? They're like, it never stopped me from getting a girlfriend. You know, I'm because you are a particular type of dude that fit into a certain mold. You, you can't put yourself in somebody else's shoes, but this is what these guys actually do. I've been liking anime since I was a kid. Well, let me tell you this, right? I can post a lot of females that like me and I'm, I'm nerd culture. You know why that I get the women? Because I look a certain way. Maybe I fit into a certain, uh, critique or a certain look that these women like the best, the most. But I know my position. I can't say that, hey man, you know, you know, I've been liking girls like me and blah, 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 blah. No, 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 no. I'm not going to sit there and act like I'm, I, I, I'm, I'm basically this, oh yeah, man, you know, uh, So I'm I'm trying to find Marcus A. Barley, and I'm gonna find his girl. So this is the funny part, right? So I'm trying to find the girl, and I'm trying to find what she looks like. And Marcus A. Barley is by one of the top YouTubers for tech, for black. He's black. He don't have nothing to do with black people. You know, <laughs> he, he stay away from that shit, which I, I commend him for that. Cause you don't want to be around a bunch of niggas like this. I don't see no, I don't see no tattoos on this dude. Um, But let's go real quick. Let's go real quick. Bro, niggas facts. need to stop making excuses. It be them niggas. It be them niggas over there running around. Naruto running this shit, nigga. It be them niggas literally doing juke. Oh, so it can So basically, you can't do that kind of stuff because it turns off women. But I thought women like anime. But they can go around dressing in cosplay to try to get men's money or whatever. But somehow that's bad because you're not supposed to do that as a man, right? <laughs> this is the shit that I'm talking about right here. But hey, let's uh, let me try to find. Wow. Too much in front of a bitch. Niggas try to do a command, mayor. Bitch, go to hug him. 
Hey, yo, nigga, what, what is you doing, bro? What the fuck are you doing, my nigga? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, niggas be, like, come on, bro. Sweet. It was. So they can't be who they want to be. They got to they gotta be who, what the woman wants them him to be. That's why I said before, the bully pill is very popular among niggas like this. Because they can go around talking on absolute cash shit about men. They don't have any. This is why I say you don't don't respect motherfuckers who go into places where they think that they can talk down to people. And then there be no consequences. Like I said, these guys ain't going to talk down to no cartel guys or no a rap dudes who got money. These are the same dudes who talk about game and swag and talk about trick, 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 trick. But the cartel dudes trick more than anybody else. They gonna come up there and talk to down to the cartel dudes? Hell no. They gonna talk shit about the to, 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 the, to the, the guys in Dubai? Hell no. The bully pill is about going into going to spaces, going to people who you know you can talk about, and then pretending like you you know it all. So bad that somebody started a separate Twitter thread where they asked black women to post their nerdy black boyfriends. And all that Twitter thread ended up being was black women posting their conventionally attractive boyfriends who just so happened to be in the nerdy stuff. Now, Yup, and that's about it right there. Now, you can see the difference between white women, Asian women, and Latino women, and their, their, girl, their, their boyfriends... And then you will see the difference between black chicks who say they like nerdy shit. Okay, I found it right here. This is Marcus A. Brownlee's girlfriend right here. This is what she looks like. This is her. Now... Y'all got to understand that Marcus A. Brownlee can get better looking girl. Why is he with her? And he been with her for six years. See? Marcus A. Brownlee does not look like a typical geek nerd, I mean, he don't look like one of the street dudes. If you put him in any environment, if you put him in any environment in black neighborhoods, you think he'll survive? Nope. So what's the problem? It's just saw niggas be weird nerds. That's... So now we, 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 we're differentiating weird nerds now. We differentiate weird nerds now. Nerds are not supposed to be fighting each other. And we're not supposed... There's not supposed to be a popular nerd. And there's never supposed to be a weird nerd. So this is what, this is what they did. This is what they did. This is how they cannibalize nerd culture. With bully the bully pill, right? Is they come in... Taking over somebody else's shit that people else, somebody else built and say they are different. These are the same people. This this is the same crowd of people who came into Star Wars and Marvel and DC. The diversity people came in and act like they were better fans than these IPs. And now they overtake it. It's the same thing with the nerd cultures and video game cultures. But let's 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 continue to listen to him. Bro, what the fuck? with this shit, bro. I watch anime. Y'all niggas can sit there and say that I'm a nerd because I watch... Well, I told y'all niggas don't... I, I don't... I've never gotten called a nerd. Like, I just... I told you. I don't think I got the look of a nerd. Of course you don't got the look of a nerd. But I dropped your dumb bitch ass in Mexico and I bet you you will act like a nerd then, bitch nigga. Like... But the thing is, if you watch anime, if you think that makes you a nerd because you watch anime, girls will still fuck with you. Stop being fucking weird. And this is what I'm talking about. Stop being weird. See, the difference between me and other people is that when I say stop doing this and this and this, I'll name the list of shit that you can't do and you shouldn't do. But these guys say stop being weird. That means you, you just can't be yourself. You got to be what they want you to be, right? Niggas 
really be like this with with no type of niggas to be like this. Hair all fucked up. They look like they don't bathe like that. They talk like a bitch. You like you like, you like anime? They don't know how to dress. Oh, so you got to know how to dress in order to get a black nerd. Oh shit. And and this is what I'm talking about right here. This is why a lot of dudes get their passport. Because if they go overseas and get a better looking woman than this nigga gets by them being the so-called nerd and talk like that, then you're somehow, oh, you're not doing what the fuck they want you to do. And they got the nerve. You know what I'm saying? Me sitting there saying girls don't like black girls don't like nerds and shit. Nigga, fuck out of here, bro. Now, I will admit that there was a few couples in there that truly were just two nerds falling in love. But what made the tweet even funnier was that in that thread, a couple of black women were getting exposed for lusting after white men in the past. And all I got to say about that is, those in glass houses should not throw stones. Now, here comes the part where I talk about my... Yeah, see, I can see why he ain't getting no bitches. I can see why black girls don't fuck with this nigga. I ain't gonna hold you. I can really see it. These niggas be the nerds who don't work out, don't have good... So, you have to work out to be a nerd. I didn't get that Einstein had to work the fuck out. I don't I don't get that Bill Gates got to work out. I, I didn't know that uh Steve Jobs had to work out to get women. I didn't know that these white dudes who nerds in tech companies, they got to work out to get their women. Hygiene, have no social skills, and don't have any confidence. Hey, my mans, my mans. If I put you in a room full of 10 people in t different social circles, and I said I put your life on the line, you have to make each of these social circles laugh. Remember, you guys have social skills, right? Let's sign a death contract, right? And, and I, I don't like when people talk about social skills because most of you don't have real social skills outside of something that you master. Most people don't master social skills in many different social circles. So I'm going to write down like this. Okay, you want to talk about social skills. We're going to write this down. Death contract. Now, if I lose, you win a lot of money. Right? If you lose, I'm going to shoot you in your head. So, since you're talking about social skills, I'm going to put you in a room full of di 10 different uh, social groups. You got to make all of them laugh. And if you don't make all of them laugh... That last social group, when you walk out that door, I'm going to say, look at the flowers, my man. Bam! Bullshit, bro. Like, I said, listen to this. I can really see why. These niggas. Personal experience on this topic. I don't know if you realize it yet, but I myself, I myself am a black nerd. I am an African-American male. Who we, we can tell because you won't even show yourself in the video, my nigga. I let her go to me like so. Oh, so you got to show yourself out here. In order to protect yourself. But then this fucking fool will sit back and talk shit about somebody being me too. So everybody has to show themselves in order to be online. Because they can't protect their fucking job from being talked down to or lied on. <laughs> and and y'all, y'all, I have to tell you. The reason why the black manosphere ain't really big. There's a lot of guys like this that goes in. They come in. Man, it's tomorrow absolutely right. When he says that these do cannibalize their own societies and then they venture off and goes into other people's fucking, they other people's movements and try to take that shit over and convert it to what they want to convert it to. It Android 18 and 17. I feel that. Yo, NX, uh, name user? NX, name is Steve for that sub, bro. But yeah, man. I, I, could, I could tell. Nigga don't want to show himself. Think about it. That nigga Heavenly, he had to change up his look. That nigga Heavenly looked disgusting back in the day. The uh, um, why don't you talk about Heavenly Controller and about the women who accused him, dumb dickhead? Wait, wait, wait. Let's see if he talks about Heavenly Controller and when he did change up, how what kind of women he came around him and what kind of trouble he got with these same women who he changed up for. He has become a lot more attractive over the years because of the things he did to change his look. He can pull a black girl, but that nigga does not fuck with black girls. That nigga heavily fuck with Asians and whites. He a nerdy ass nigga. 
but he could. But that nigga, when I first looked at that nigga, the old heavenly. Wait, 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 no. Because it was a black girl who accused him. So this nigga being, he's a liar. He's a liar now. Look, I can actually go up right now. There was a black girl who uh, accused him of a Me Too shit. And then his ex-girlfriend jumped in. It was a black girl who tried to give him some sex or some shit. And he got rid of her because she didn't want to do anything with him. Why the fuck are you talking about Heavenly Controller when Heavenly Controller had Me Too situation on him? Like, I don't have to lie about the Heavenly Controller situation. Let me go. Let me let me show y'all about the Heavenly Controller situation and show you just how fucked up this dude really is. Bro, with the, with the acne all over his face and shit. Nigga look like he was ashy as hell and shit all the time. Come on, bro. What black girl's finna fuck with that nigga, bro? Man, fuck out of here, bro. So he acting like black girls at the top of the chain then. He 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 acts like they they're top of the chain. Okay, sure. That's his unconventional hobbies such as anime. See, K not says even black celebrities love anime and they still get women. Yeah, man. Video game. They're black celebrities, you dumb dickhead. I'm not gonna use the term blurred because I think that shit sounds fucking stupid. I've been playing video games and watching anime since I was in grade school. I got a fat ass. Do you hear this nigga? As PS2 game collection. On occasion, I hunt down rare retro games so I can add them to my collection. I, I really do this nerd shit. And I can safely say, after 20 years of being a nerd, being a nerd has never gotten me any pussy whatsoever. Nope. And that's the whole truth. But my bad. Being a standout nerd and not doing it because you are out of your rope has not getting, got a lot of guys sex. Because real nerd, deep down nerd culture is not attracted to these women. These women are attracted to the fact that, that nerd culture is popular now. They are attracted to nerd culture because now it gives them views and money. Should I go to Etika? Remember Etika's girlfriend? The one who had sex with a guy and one of his classmates after he jumped off a bridge? Or should I go to uh, another nerd in another thing of a girlfriend who cheated on her, who, who cheated on her, on her boyfriend with his brother? A lot of these chicks couldn't compete in the overall society, so they went to nerd culture in order to have a, a new playground to play in. Heavenly is constantly fucking different girls. He's a nerd. He had to change up the way he looked. The way he presented himself. That's all it took. Like, bro, this... Come on, dog. This is really how I be. Niggas just really don't know how to improve, bro. It's, it's that... It's not about improving, you stupid fuck. It's about wasting your money on on, on women who, make, who might meet to you. Now, Heavenly Controller fucked himself over. You want to talk about Heavenly Controller. You want to talk about Heavenly Controller. We gonna... We gonna go down that. We gonna go down that rabbit hole, you stupid fuck. But hey, 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 hey. I know what I'm talking about. Now, remember the allegations was like, I don't know. But uh, this was big back in the day. This was way big down back in the day. Simple, like bro. I go to the nigga channel. Let me find this nigga page real quick so y'all niggas can see what I'm talking about. Just in case you don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Bro. And look at him. Thank you. He don't look no different. He don't look like he got no he got dreads. He got highlights. So you telling me that he gotta you gotta wear dreads, you gotta do what these women want you to do just to get them? Fuck it. I'll I'll take I'll go overseas. I'll look the way I wanna look and I'll go overseas. See the difference between you and me is the fact is that men who really can't get women, they don't have to dress up and and, 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 and do certain shit just to get women. Women find some kind of mystery behind them. This is what the other one friend zone. And you wonder why, nigga, you got Billy Bob. It. And the third one moved. Never gotten a girl turn me down because I watched anime. I've been so blind, so blind, man. I've met some beautiful ass black women that are like that. Nigga, this nigga, this nigga never went to DreamCon. That's how you know, yo, Junior, hey, think about that sub. 
Can can we stop with these dumbass conventions? Because this nigga seem I mean he 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 got a video in the beginning of a of a ugly ass black girl who got big boobs and he talking about chicken chicken or jig chicken or jiggle jiggle. This is why I say that you have to ask these dudes who they think is fine and give us pictures of the women who they think is fine. And then you then you you can know exactly what they think is fine. So you'd be like, I don't think none of these bitches are fine. So you're you're not talking about the same type of women that I might like. And then I'll show the women that I say, hey, where are these type of girls at? Oh, you asked for too much. Nah, nigga. <laughs> he probably fits. Proof in the very thread that I was talking about earlier about all of the girls going through and just posting their conventionally attractive. I'm so glad we showed the nigga heavily, bro. I'm so glad we did this. Look at this right here. Look at how sad this is. This man posted his selfie talking about how he needs his. I ain't gonna hold you. That's he know you know he got the pronouns in the bio, bro. You know, bro got the pronouns. Ain't no positive response. Some women still approach us and wanted to take a pic. I should have said if they want Actually look like, bruh. Hey, we what is up with- So now, he know what the guy look like, and now he want to sit back and talk about him. And this is one of the things that I don't like about these guys. They go into places where they think they better than. These nerd ass niggas not realizing, yo, bro, oh, uh, these girls should want me just because I like anime. Nigga, you fucking dirty. You no, 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 you dumb fucker. <laughs> People like this make me piss, piss me the fuck off. No, you stupid fuck. It's about being in the same category as you and saying they like anime. So if somebody says they like anime, okay, I might have a so-called chance with her. I'm not that naive to think that. But some of these guys say, okay, they'll take me as I am. Because you can always take a shower, you dumb fuck. But the fact is, you don't, you shouldn't want nobody to change. This is the fucking thing that I'm saying right here is that these women will be fat, overweight. And I bet you this dumb fucker is not going to go after the women who don't dress up and don't look nice. And they're nerds and they're complaining about nerd guys. I bet you he won't talk about them, right? Ugly as hell. I not call the nerd until y'all niggas did it. But... It's just some of y'all niggas, man. Like, niggas be dirty as hell. <laughs> it's obvious. And this guy has tattoo sleeves calling people dirty. I have to whoop him and get him in the shower. Oh my god, bro. Nigga. Where I get that speed racer joint from? From Ozzy, nigga! And now you understand why so many mass shootings out here. Because niggas like him. Now you understand why. I don't condone it, but now you see why, where a particular group of men are seeing that the world is talking shit about them so many times and they get mad. As I said, I don't condone it, but guys like this will make anybody turn crazy. You should know that by now, nigga. Oh, I'm That's going to give me some pussy to It's about 6'4". Can you figure is he 6'4", like 6'3", 6'4", or something like that? See, my nigga said, oh, God, I seen a King Vader at the mall. That nigga was flop a hoes. <laughs> Remember, Attica was a, a, a workout dude. Attica had, uh, had a good physique. And that shit still didn't save him from the, being with these toxic-ass women. It's the fucking environment. But somehow, some way, going to the gym and getting these women is going to make your life a little better. Let, 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 let's... Let, let's let's let let's put this right here, man. Let's let's get it out here. Here we go. And keep it a buck and say that I actually am a fan of Heavenly Controller. I've been watching his videos since he reviewed the Torment of Power episode. Now this is what I'm talking about, right? He changed all his shit up, right? Oh yeah, Heavenly Controller changed his stuff up. He used to look like a nerd. But he's not going to talk about the allegations that Heavy D Controller had to go through dealing with these fucking women. Oh, but I got the receipts, you stupid bitch nigga. So it's back 2018-ish. Like, it's been years and I've been subscribed to his channel ever since. So when I talk about this, know that I'm coming from a place where I was a fan of his, um, his content anyway. But I've seen in the last couple of years... That he has gone down that hole of smelling your own ass kind of thing where your ego is getting so inflated by your YouTube numbers that you start forgetting 
the reason you started doing this and how you got here and why you're doing this in the first place and you start thinking of yourself as more than just a normal ass dude and uh, and you're not humble basically and back in the torment of power days obviously he's reviewed other stuff other anime he's done other things other games he's played other stuff but he was a little bit more down to earth back then but as the years have gone by i've stayed subscribed and i followed him on twitter and the ego thing has been the big headedness has been a major part of not only his youtube but his twitter where i had to silence his twitter because there was a lot of a lot of jerking yourself off type of stuff and then it was almost the exact same thing on youtube he kept uploading videos of himself hanging out with all these chicks and all and all these dudes and they're partying it up in like really expensive houses and really expensive cars and that's fine you do you that's your success you enjoy it the way that you want but that wasn't my cup of tea to watch or or you know that's not something that i that i find enjoyable to watch other people just kind of flaunt their success i'm not into that kind of stuff i like more down to earth stuff but the latter with the houses the girls this seems to be something that has come back to bite him in the ass because he has been accused of sexual assault by multiple women at this point cosplayers um and there we go now oh man you you didn't dress up and you you didn't do this and you didn't do that what to attract a bunch of women who gonna basically so he didn't escape the nerd shit he just had more clout and look a certain way. He had a new paint job. Now, at this time, I remember. I remember all this stuff that happened. I remember almost every single allegation that happens. See, this is the thing about how how these niggas, like that dude is, that Darius, whatever his name is, right? He should have never said. He should have never used Heavenly Controller as a fucking source of who to change. Because the fact is, I always said this before, st who are the nerd girls who come into the nerd space? Who are they and what did they bring? This is why you ask about anime and this and this and that. Because the fact is, if it was nerdy niggas who don't dress and know how to do that, it wasn't as toxic. You didn't have any false gearings. You didn't have no... Uh, sexism in gaming. You didn't have all these allegations and all this bullshit that comes up every single time with these fucking nerdy ass chicks. But guess what? Guess what? Guess what? Guess what? People that are in the cosplaying scene, they have come out and have really, really intense stories on exactly what he has done and claiming that there was no... There was no consent given to a lot of this stuff. He used his power, his pushiness, and his ego. He used all that to manipulate these girls in, 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 in a Harvey Weinstein sort of sense, I guess. And I guess it's not just him. I guess it's his entire friend group based on some more evidence. So I waited a few days to make a video on this because I wanted to see how everything started playing out. Now, it's funny the fact is that they're not going to talk about Heavenly Controller. It was a black girl who actually um, accused Heavenly Controller. A black girl who was dating a guy back in the day. I think she was black. I don't know if she's mixed or not, but I think she's black. She accused him of using his power to try to sleep with her, even though she was coming on to him. See, this is what I'm talking about when it comes down to these bully pill dudes. The bully pill guys, they won't tell you the real truth. They will use one person they think that they can use and don't tell the whole context of the story about all of the dysfunction. I can go right now in nerdy culture right now and show you that a fucking girl sucked off a 12 year old little boy. And even to this day, her fucking Instagram is up right now. But everybody call her a pedo because she sucked off a 12 year old boy. She was in her 20s. That's what brings us to this new culture. This is what the nerd. This is what the nerdy girls is. They're not they going around taking advantage of people. They're moving into one never certain a social circle that they can do in order to use a particular group of men. Because nerd guys who don't take showers and go self improve, they have more money than these niggas who self improve. 
Because they're not out here jumping from one fucking entertainment space to the next entertainment space. And all, all yeah, I got to go outside and go do this and do this and do that. No. They, got, they, they hold their money tight. At first, they said nerds didn't have jobs. Now, they think that nerds are going to waste fifty dollars or $60,000 to self-improve just to get with women who are going to sexually accuse them. I to see how everything came out and how he would respond to this. And so how he originally responded to this stuff is that he read the first story or one of the stories from the person that was accusing him live on air. For consent, like what is that? Like it's not like I attacked her. Like I literally, like, I, like she said, I grabbed her waist. I did grab her waist. Um, and then as she said, she eventually like, like I grabbed her waist and then like we were like that for a minute. And she wasn't like pushing away or anything like that. Um, but then eventually she did, and like that whole instance only like lasted for maybe like like we just had like a normal conversation or whatever. In a live reaction sort of sense, it was something that it was a reaction that I've never seen before because all he does is react, and I'm always thinking that those are like super honest reactions. But I guess a part of me should have known that they are scripted in a sense because this was like super honest. Like he was fumbling his words; he didn't really know what to say. It was in an awkward spot, and at the same time, he ended up admitting to what the girl had claimed for him he snitched on himself he made it worse instead of lawyering it up and having it be dealt by the courts or whatever the case might be he now this is who that guy said that that upgraded himself oh, oh he get bitches because he changed himself confidence is different than arrogance but a lot of these dudes don't understand what arrogance is and what confidence these dudes think arrogance is confidence this is why i said a lot of these dudes will get their head knocked off in real life by a quote quote unquote nerdy guy but uh, 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 let's let, let's continue to go about here we go dun, 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 dun. What is good? What is good? What is good? Yeah, yeah. not a a happy thing, happy stream by any means. But there's a lot of shit that's going on that's actually been really pissing me off. And one thing about me, which I'm gonna reiterate when I I'm gonna wait a second and reiterate it when I start talking about everything. And like the one thing that I said, the one fault that he and, and, and this is one thing that I hate when they keep bringing up the fact, oh man, this guy never had women. This guy never this this guy never had access to women, so they don't know how to act. That's like if you niggas had money, y'all wouldn't know how to act. Y'all be shitting on people, y'all be talking shit. It's the funny thing about this, that's why people stay the fuck away from y'all. Let's be like, who the fuck you think you are? Blah blah blah. Man, look, and oh, he had with all the women and he was just very touchy in aspects that were crossing your boundaries. And the third one was he invited a girl over and I think it was on this, a similar pretest for, from what the, the Twilonger exclaimed that they were like flirting kind of back and forth or something like that. And I guess to him that insinuated, all right, I can fuck. <laughs> so, and, 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 and after the whole allegations went down, this guy channel went down. Um, I forgot a whole bunch of other people. They started going into hiding because heavenly controller, a lot of the shit became false. I think a lot of this shit became basically people found out it was kind of false and faulty but a lot of the dudes who made videos on it they haven't they haven't reached their success like they but like before so I, I you can go to this guy and see that he not really as he not really basically uh popular like he was this is his best video but she wasn't trying to do all of that and uh the words that she used is not something i want to repeat on on twitter or any social media 
because um, it's very triggering, but you can kind of use context clues to what was implied off of the assumption that I guess he had that something could happen. Um, for me, like, I woke up and I saw it bit by bit. I, I saw, like, the last bits of his stream where he brought, like, uh, Griffey in it. And I think this is when I started to get mad because, like, to me it was just, like, it was just very irresponsible. And I'm just like, what? What, what, what are you doing? Like, why are you bringing people into this? Like, I don't think he was realizing how serious this shit was, but it was, like, making me really mad how he was handling it. And I've seen dude handle shit very weird prior in the past. Like, one of, there's, like, a picture that people sent around a lot. But, um, you know, a lot of times when it happens, uh, I, I usually, I'm not going to be honest, I had Heavenly muted for, like, a, a big portion because, like, the ego and me, were, I, I don't, I'm not like that in that way. So when I would see it a lot, like, I can, I can respect it, but it's something that I couldn't really relate with, and I kind of wanted to see some other things in my timeline. So I'll hit him up, like, the once a year or whatever, just to be like, you're good, or you, here's this, here's that. You know, just on my, like, how, how, how I had that relationship. It was like a respect thing, and when I would come, drop in, I guess, tap in, it would be off of benefits of just, like, YouTube only. But, um, yeah, man. How I was seeing that being handled, it, it didn't, it was confusing to me because like I said, I only saw the last little bits of it, but it was as if that. Now, this is what I'm talking about when it comes down to the bully pill, right? Is that guys in the anime community hated the fact that he was getting women. And the same thing with guys, all these other dudes, they hated the fact that, just like Andrew Tate kind of alludes to it. There's a, there's a underlying thing of tech guys. There's a lot of people that are jealous at tech guys that can get women. And don't have to change who they are. They don't got to go to the gym. They don't got to do this. And they can they can maneuver in their own type of circle. And they don't have to have these allegations. And they just get women out of their face. Right? Tell them to put, their pay, uh, put, put, put on their clothes and get the fuck out. While these guys had to literally destroy their entire life. Or shit on everybody around them in order to get these women. Now this guy right here. He's not prominent no more. Uh, I don't see him on stream, whatever. He hit his peak. He hit his peak in this video. He's a low level. Everybody came off the feed off heavily controller and his shit that happened to him. But that guy didn't talk about this shit. He didn't talk about what heavily controller had to deal with. What I know. And I've read the I've read the tweets. I read the long ass the 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 the, 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 the tweet fleets or whatever was going on. I read those. You know what I'm saying? I was in I was in anime NYC. And this dude talking about TwitchCon or whatever, whatever DreamCon or whatever. There's a lot of these fucked up ass women that are in the anime community. That's one of the reasons why I I cut off my I cut off my communication with all the anime. Even the gaming space, I cut my shit off. I only go to a certain subsection of fucking people that I talk to video games about and anime about. Anime, I don't even talk to a lot of people no more in that community. Because now it's him, her, she's hims, and all these other fake ass people. I can see just how fake some of these people really are. And the comic book community? Woo! Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like she mentioned, like Kim mentioned, she was going through stuff with her boyfriend. Heavenly and her were heavily flirting heavily those two were heavily flirting i'm talking about like at the i'm let me tell you it, it was it was to a point it was to a point and i was and i was absolutely cerebral it was to a point where i thought that they were actually like talking talking i thought they were actually like talking talking i'm like okay that's it okay whatever whatever the case may be right so just giving so just giving off that vibe like oh yeah like like like, like she mentioned and you can and you can read the tweet fleet again. As she mentioned, heavily. They were heavily, heavily flirted. Heavily. So I don't fault heavenly for trying to make a move on Kim. I won't fault that. Literally. They were they, if somebody's giving off the vibe that we're like with mad flirtation and if and if I make a move, I'm going to think I'm going to And this is what happened. And it, uh, I don't have to make shit up. I don't have to make shit up. It's a trail. This is why I say it matters. History matters. 
Why the fuck did this dude use heavily controller as an example? Oh, yeah, man, you change yourself up. A lot of these dudes are fucking, they're very, 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 how can I put it? I'm trying to find the word. A lot of these people are straight up fucking liars. They tell, they, they make up tales. You have to get rid of, you have to, like I said, you have to be a mud man in order to get these chicks. You can't be a clean pure dude. Now they want to sit back and talk all this shit. But this would happen. And I feel gonna- like I'm comfortable enough to make a move. I'm going to feel like I am comfortable enough to make that move. She gave mixed signals to Heavenly. If we're holding everybody accountable, and I don't give a fuck who you are, if we're holding everybody accountable, let's fucking hold the victims accountable as well. Not trying to off Heavenly. He's not He's not out of the clear. Because there's, some, there's still things that he needs to work on. But in that tweet, there was no, there was no verbal, like I said before, and I'm going to say that shit again. He lacks social cues when it comes to body language. And this is the thing about that, about the whole social cues and all this other shit is because this is the thing about this, right? In a regular environment, all that shit wouldn't matter, right? All that shit, the the social cues are mixed signals nowadays, and it's the reason for people to fuck people over. Now, I got to show y'all what this girl looked like. Got to show you what this girl looked like. Because, you know, I come with the receipts and I have to show y'all about certain things about, you know, all this stuff. Um, um, we go. This is the girl right here. So let's let's listen. This girl, this this is a this is a, this is what's in the anime community. Get the fuck. This is what s this is what is in the anime community right here. And this ain't the first time this happened. Nick Ricada's situation happened when all these people came out and said that Nick Ricada was this and he got fired from Dragon Ball Z. This is what these people bring to the anime community and nerd community. When it was just a bunch of stuffy nerds. We didn't have all this fucked up ass shit going on because it was only men. Let's let let's stop. Let's stop the cat with the whole. Yeah, women were like an anime too. No, they wasn't. It was a small group subsection of women who really wasn't that attractive, but they would get with they would get with guys who love anime and the guys didn't have to change themselves like that. Right. So let's read this. This is serious question. Heavenly controller grabs you or pressed up on you in the way he described isn't cool. He should have never done that. But what I know is what was the what was this flirting neutral? What the this flirting? Uh, what was it? What was it? To know it was this flirt neutral. You describe friendship as, as extremely flirt flirtatious. Did you shut it down? The flirt was neutral. I said it in the Twitch long. That I try, I pushed him away and left after he kissed my face. I tried to and tried to kiss my mouth. That was an extent of it. But it was given. I was given alcohol. This isn't assault. You should have communicated your issues if you felt that type of way. And wait, why waiting three years later on on YouTube looks sketchy. It was. I think the age gap. Over 18 years inherently predatory. My boyfriend is over 21. I wanted to be around him, period. That's what I was saying. I wanted to be with him if I broke up with my boyfriend. So she wanted the monkey branch off of. She wanted to dump her boyfriend. And get with. Heavily controller since heavily controller didn't give her what she wanted. She did. She uh, uh, sexually uh, uh, sexually accused him.
So this is what the girl looks like right here. This is what's, this is a black girl who looks Asian, but she's not. But I thought he said he don't like black girls. See, this is what I'm talking about when people have a vision of history, right? The whole point of these guys who, that are making videos, because I can find multiple videos of these guys making videos and talking shit to people. This is what you get. This is today's world. The bully pill is getting more and more popular because it's easy to go after people who they think that they can go after. Because you're supposed to do what they tell you to do. You're supposed to do live how they want you to live. You're supposed to go to their conventions. You're supposed to do whatever you want, want them to do. I mean, whatever you're supposed to do, whatever they want you to do so they can talk shit about you. You're all everybody's supposed to go to the gym and get a six pack abs. You, uh, you know, everybody's supposed to have a hundred percent by a one percent body fat. Everybody's supposed to look like bodybuilders. Everybody's supposed to do this and do this. And everybody's supposed to go to this and this and this and this. You know the reason why the bully pill is popular? Because they're running out of people to talk about. Also, they know online, they're trying to convince you to go back into the society that you don't want no more. This is what happens with, this is, this is what happened with Heavenly Controller. So I'm a, I'm a, let, let's, let's go dig deep down. Cause I, I don't want, I can't go on there. Um, let, let me uh, see if this girl's still online. So as I said before, all this, all this bullshit that these niggas are talking about, about how, uh, <laughs> how, uh, somehow his life got better after he so-called self-improved. He just brought a lot of toxic ass women in his life. Okay. Let's uh let's see. <sighs> Are you serious? This chick says she's sexually accused, but now she's on OnlyFans. I can't show this online. This is two years later after she accused Heavenly Controller. And everybody forgot it. This is insane. But for some reason, um, <laughs> some reason, some reason, man. Some reason he wanted to, he wanted to flaunt how Heavenly Controller changed himself when I, I, I could tell you right now that Heavenly Controller isn't a, a muscle dude. He, he, he don't even have no muscle. I got more muscles than Heavenly Controller. I got more muscle than heavy controller and I'm not even, I haven't been in the gym for like almost two, two years. Okay. Now this chick has fucking only fans hover sucking dudes off a white dude. And but we won't talk about this stuff.
We ain't talking about this stuff, right? So let's uh let's 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 get this over with, man. The bully pill. Okay. So now you see what the bully pill is about. The bully pill is basically but the bully pill is basically going to places where they think that they can get away with just talking shit to people and and Oh yeah, well, let me let me check that dude's YouTube cuz he 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 uh what's his name? Long Beach Okay. Long Beach Griffin. So he was able to get out to he was able to get out that He recovered fast. And let's go to Heavily Controller. Let's go to Heavily Controller. Okay. Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to Nonstop XP, where we learn from the stupid people on the internet so we don't ever end up in dumbass situations like they do. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about Heavenly Controller and a situation that recently happened where people are accusing him of being a sexual predator and stuff like that. From what I could gather, this started a few days ago when Heavenly posted a few screenshots of their chat. Um, I'm not going to go through the entire thing. There's way too many back and forths and all of that. Right? Pretty much what happened was uh, they both met up in chat. They talked for a bit. Heavenly tried to invite her over to stream, but she was out with friends. She stayed out a lot later, I guess, uh, and she was a bit drunk. He still tried to invite her over, and she was like, nah. But then I think it, things got kind of out of hand when uh, she started to assume that like, he was trying to fuck for like a stream. Then that situation kind of came to an end when they stopped having this back and forth. But she still thinks he's a creep for trying to invite her over at 5am while she was drunk. So my thoughts on that was, even if he was trying to smash, it doesn't matter. He wasn't like forcing her or blackmailing her or even bribing her with anything. There's no indication that he was, you know, being a fucking, uh, like a Harvey Weinstein, you know. There's no indication of that. So yeah, and then today actually, someone named Lil Etchy Gal Kimmy posted a twit longer talking about uh, her experience with Heavenly between 2019 and now. And it's pretty much only summed up to two instances where she felt uncomfortable, I guess, right? And I say I guess because in the twit longer, uh, I, I'm not even going to go through all of this either, right? But in the twit longer, she explains that they had a extremely flirtatious... And this is what I'm talking about when it comes down to this whole society thing. Women have destroyed the social contract and the social construct is that now each day you have to go at the whims of these women or you're going to get considered something else. I can't you you can't survive in this environment. A lot of these motherfuckers thrive off this shit because they're in the good graces of these women. But I'm not going to I'm not going to change my life or do whatever these motherfuckers want me to do in order to be in a. I'm going to go to another environment, right? So I kind of look at this shit as a fact of the bully pill. The people who are always bullying people, you see that they all share the same similarities. Talking down to people they think they can talk down to. And... That they, they can talk down to. And then when it doesn't work out. They go off about their life. 
one of the funniest things uh, one of the funniest things about some of these people are is that it's going to always be norm it's normalized now the bully pill is getting more popular now because a lot of these people think they're exceptional people when everybody is fucking lying and cap I'm using that capping because none of these dudes are the best if they were the best they'd be on TV if they were the social savant they'd be teaching classes Friendship, right? I've had extremely flirtatious friendships in the past. Like when I was much younger, like when I was like around 16, 17, around that age, right? And that pretty much means a lot of grouping, a lot of sexual jokes and stuff like that, right? A lot of back and forths of that nature. So I just want to put that out there first before I move forward. So pretty much what she says is she invited him over to their Airbnb and her mom. And mind you, the chick that a uh, section of uh, the, the the chick that me too, Everly controller, is did OnlyFans, showing her body off, and now magically, this is back in 2021. In 2022, she had all these videos of her sleeping with a white dude, and then now in 2023, she's an LGBTQ. She's a lesbian. These are the type of people that are flooding into the anime community, flooding into the gaming community, all these toxic behind people. But for some reason, the old people that's been there, the so-called real nerds, we can't do what we want to do. We can't say what we want to say. We can't filter out and vet these motherfucking people and see how fake these people really are was there her friend was there but heavenly was like caressing her and stuff so she made excuses to get up and go and come back and all of that but my thing is is that you already said that you were both giving off this extremely flirtatious vibe right and you even further went on to say that you would be cheeky with him from time to time which if you all guys don't know what that means like cheeky means like playing a lot of like jokes with each other and pushing the boundaries like a little bit but just like not too far and as i said i've experienced this uh when i was younger i've experienced this just before i got into a serious relationship and uh, it, that's pretty much how it goes uh, this all leads into the next thing uh, that everyone seems to be ranting and raving about where they were about to go to the club and uh, she had to get her phone or something like that use the bathroom or something and she the way she framed it is she said that heavenly was like hiding behind a wall uh, he said he didn't do that and she like he waited for her to come out and he pulled her by her waist and he tried to make his move on her and she said she pushed him off and then that was that so what exactly is the problem here i've done that exact same thing on a few girls and in one instance where she turned me down i was just like okay right most girls don't make the first move man a lot of the times you have to cross that line in order to get anywhere right otherwise they're gonna see you as too scared or or not worth their time right this whole thing where everyone's talking about ooh, she, she touched her without consent and all this bullshit bro if it was like that she would have made a scene and on that night everyone would have known about it if she had no type of sexual attraction towards him we would have known about this long ago bro what the fuck are y'all talking about man like seriously y'all talking about this guy should be in prison over a failed attempt at getting someone who has obviously stated that they were interested in this guy in the past and here's the other thing too right you were in a relationship whether it was stable or not you were meeting up with this guy you were giving off this sexual tension because that's what flirtation is i don't give a fuck what you all try to pretend that flirting is innocent and all this nonsense we're adults okay Right. If you're flirting with someone and you're giving this extremely flirtatious like vibe, it's a proper indication that you want to smash, man. Like, like, let's not pretend this is something else. But anyway, that's my two cents on the matter, man. I, I think that this thing is being blown way out of proportion. You all could call me a, a fucking fanboy if you all want. I don't really give a shit, right? Uh, I think this is just 
because the way I'm reading this, it just comes off as a failed attempt at a girl who wasn't sure of what she wanted. And after some years down the road, she comes out and she's like, ooh, she assaulted me, you know? So, I mean, she didn't really say that. The, the fans are kind of saying that, but it's, it's pretty much, you know, it's like a package deal. <laughs> But yeah, uh, the whole situation where he kind of went live and put his foot in his mouth, that was kind of dumb, right? Man, he should have just owned it. Like, Heavenly, you should have just owned that shit. You should have just been like, oh, yeah, I remember this. I made a move on her. She was like, nah. And I was like, okay, cool, right? And then we went downstairs because that's exactly what the fuck happened. This, this isn't sounding like, oh, he held her down and he started caressing her and he started like, 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 touching up a box man like like yo it doesn't sound like anything predatory like that right and i keep seeing things like where they're saying like fans he's been her sexually harassing fans right and a lot of other women and i'm not seeing anything like bro if heavenly is actually a predator and i start seeing fucking uh, actual proof of him doing some actual freaky shit then i'm gonna be yeah fuck that guy he, he's a piece of shit but as of right now, I'm not seeing anything. And based off of how people are actually celebrating this guy's downfall, they're like celebrating that that he is in hot water. I'm like, okay, yeah, this is just one of those situations where everyone's bandwagoning and they just kind of hope that he, you know, 100% gets gets dragged. And these fucking bandwagoning idiots even try to drag Griffey into this man. Like, yo, you, how stupid do you have to fucking be? Like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> so, let me know what you think, man. Let, let me know what y'all think about this situation. And, like, give me your honest thoughts. Try to take your emotions out of it. Like, put yourself in that scenario, right? And give me your thoughts, leave a comment, like or dislike the video, right? Um, subscribe if you're into Invincible content, because that's what I'm kind of doing right now. And yeah, y'all have a good fucking day. Alright, later. The most effective way. So, I'm going to give you a, a really thing about this. And we're going to look at this future now. Um, bullying is okay. If it's against people that they want to change and add to their culture or add to their, um, if they want them to add to their, their world, right? So it's okay to bully men. It's okay to tell them to go to the gym when, you know, most men in every society you never had in, in history. Well, not in history, not in history. In the last 200, 300 years, we never had a. Society filled with men who had abs. We never had a whole bunch of self-improved men in, in, in history. But for some reason, they're going to want to talk down to you, laugh at you. The bully pill is going to be popular now. And I'm going to tell you this right now. For people in SYSBM, people in Passport Bros, the real Passport Bros, not the Passport Players... You're going to have to deal, if you have a movement that is opposite of what these people really are, I'm going to tell you this right now. I'm going to tell you this right now. Um, Get ready for them to be, quote unquote, talking about you. The red pill dealing with it, MGTOW, deal, they're going to try their best to beat you down as much as they want to do. In order to, oh shit, I ain't no stardom, they, they changed the fucking uh, higher thing, whoa, <laughs> um, it's gonna be crazy, right, um, the bully pill is gonna get very popular, it's already here, you're gonna, you're gonna see a lot of people taking shots at certain people. What you need to do, if you're around these type of people, is just walk away. I think that a lot of people should learn how to fight. So when these dudes, like the Daquan dude, a, a person with judo and Brazilian jiu-jitsu will beat the fuck out of this guy. And they don't have to be big. All those muscle-ass niggas, they'll, be, they'll, they'll get their ass cut up by somebody who has... Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu or, or some kind of wrestling techniques.
Okay. Um, I just wanted to make this video that actually expose it. The bully pill, a lot of people are now doing the bully pill. Because guess what? We don't have the men who want to do something different. The men who are different, they want us to do what they want us to do. This shows you that in this society, you don't have any real freedoms or should I say you don't have any real freedom of doing anything else. The society is exposing itself to actually not having the right people in it. We have a society full of people. We have 200, no, 300 and something million people in America and everybody does the same shit. And if you don't do the same shit that they want you to do, they talk about you. And this society would never be a grunt. It would never, ever be 20 million muscle men in America. There will never be 20 million CEOs. There will never be 20 million players, game dudes. And there would never be 20 million women that look good. Trust me, if there was a, if there was a, an abundance of good looking women in America, that's less, least at least 50 million most of the guys wouldn't be complaining, especially in this type of society. Watch out for the bully pill.